Today I have the brand new BAM Horror Mystery Box. So this is the March 2020 BAM Horror Mystery Box. So BAM has a monthly horror box and a pop culture box. I have not received this month's pop culture box. I was actually looking for it. I don't see it, so I guess it hasn't shipped out yet. But this is the horror box. So starting in 2020, BAM has actually redone kind of like the contents of their boxes. In 2019, they started, eh, the last half of the year, they started kind of going down in quality and value. But so far in 2020, the first few boxes have been actually pretty good value. When you get these boxes for around like 30 bucks on the BAM website, I'll make sure to leave a direct link down below if you want to check out the BAM website if you're interested in one of their subscription boxes. So what we can do is just uh, do it a monthly kind of a thing and you can cancel at any time. Whenever you want to cancel it, you can just cancel it. So this is around like 30 bucks a month and you will get one autographed item. Sometimes it's an autographed eight by 10, sometimes it's an autographed like a movie prop replica. Like last year they had a signed movie prop replica, a pair of sunglasses from one of the Nightmare on Elm Street movies. And they had a replica signed, a couple other things, but it's usually an eight by 10. You get an art print, a monthly pin, and sometimes like a little other, little throw-in type of item into the BAM horror box. So go ahead, let's get started on this. Let's see what we got. And uh, like one of those little small things, BAM actually redid their packaging in 2020. They actually have like all their, their marketing on the box now. And it kind of, you know, makes it look a little bit better than just a, a plain black box like they had been doing. Of course, just those little small things, you know. I like it when companies just do those little small things and make it a little bit more kind of premium almost. So I actually, honestly, I don't feel much in this box. I feel a piece of paper, monthly pin. There's not much in this box. Let's pull up the pin first, see what it is. So here's the monthly pin. Back of this pin says, this pin has a limited release. It looks like some of the pins will be more limited than other pins. And uh, like sometimes limited pins could be out of like 100 made, something like that. But this is, uh, oh, this is from the uh, Little Shop of Horrors. Uh, uh, Broadway play made into a movie. This plant's name is, I'm drawing a blank, but yeah, Little Shop of Horrors pen. This will have a uh, a rare version of it. It's probably, the, it's probably like bloody or something, I bet. I can't think of this plant's name. I'm drawing a blank. I'm gonna pull this thing on top. It's like a piece of paper. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. This is just to hide the contents. What's in the box, you can't see it. You open it up, so put that aside. Yeah, there's not much in here. Uh, I feel something here. Oh, some kind of like a sports card. Like a, you know, sports card type of item. The front of this is uh, from The Shining. Um, this is uh, Jack's wife. What's her name? Drawing a blank. It says, Bam Whore, congratulations. This is an authentic BAM, uh, BAM fan art card featuring a unique sketch from one of our featured artists. This card is part of a set of two and a bigger set of 12. Collect both cards to make the set. And this is number 96 out of 100. So that's actually ultra cool. This actually will have value to it just, just on its own. But this is fan art by artist uh, Jake Geiger, 96 out of 100. That's really cool. I'm actually a huge fan of the movie, The, the Shining. It's actually pretty cool. I like that. I like it. Let's see, next. Oh, that's kind of fun. Alien on board. Actually, it will stick to the window. I'm actually going to put this into my vehicle. Definitely. I'm, or into my truck. This is going to go into my truck. Definitely. A little something something. Uh, obviously, that is the alien from the movie Aliens, part one through... How many have they made now? Four, five, three, eight, 24? I don't even know, honestly. So that's kind of different, okay? Little throw-in thing. I feel something else right here. Oh, nice. This says, level up. You've been leveled up. One of the items in your box is a variant. That means there are fewer made than the regular item. Please check your insert to see which one you got. So that's cool. I got something in this box that is the rare variant. So I guess it could be, this card might be the variant. 
I don't think this pin's a variant because it usually says, maybe not. Let's see, what's next? Something else in here. Oh, I remember this from last time. That Now it's some, some kind of a instant scratch card game like they did last month. Match three, winning giveaway. Match three of the same symbols and win that giveaway. Select an instant winner and win. See if I want anything. So the first symbol is a 4K television set. Looks like I can actually win a television set. How fun would that be? Okay, the second symbol is a art print upgrade box. First symbol is PlayStation 4, so I did not win anything. That's kind of cool. If you ever want anything, I'm kind of curious to find out. Win a PlayStation 4 and a BAM box. I phone would that be? Okay, next, looks like we have an art print. I'll show you first. Not sure which way is up, which way is down. Oh, that's cool. We have a Dracula. This is numbered 1,007 out of 2,000 by artist Ken Hazer. So that's a pretty cool art print. Kind of like it. It's autographed down there by the artist. So with 2,000 made, this is not a level up. I'm actually thinking this uh, card is probably actually my level up, I bet. That's a pretty neat art print though, right? That's not bad. Let's see, go back in the box. I think all we have left is just the autograph. That's, yeah, I guess, I guess that's it. Yeah, I'm feeling around. I don't even feel the cheat sheet in this box. I, I gotta glance in there for just a second. There, there is a note. I actually did not see the autograph because it's upside down. This says, for the next couple of months, we will be going to a digital handout until the printing companies we use are back up to speed and running. Please find yours at the bandbox.com insert. So for the cheat sheet, I must go to this website to find a cheat sheet. So I'll do that after I reveal the autograph and we'll go and um, figure out the cheat sheet. So this is it, this is the last item. It's still upside down, have not seen it yet. Inside the band box. Here we go, I'll show you first, you ready? Autographed 8x10 in 3, 2, 1. Hopefully it's a good one. I'm not sure which way it goes yet. And we got... Um, the actor's face looks familiar. I cannot place the movie. Cannot place that movie of what that's from. Or the actor's name. Let's see, the back of it says, Certificate of Authenticity, the signature on this item was personally witnessed by a representative of BAM Authentic and is guaranteed to be authentic. So it doesn't list who actually signed this item um, or what movie it's for, and I cannot, I cannot visually see what that movie's from. I'm just drawing a total blank. So actually, we kind of have to pull up the cheat sheet no matter what. It's super tiny. I'll make sure, remember, put like a clip art somewhere on the screen so you can see what I'm looking at also. So it says, volume five, box number two. Welcome to the new BAM Horror Box. This is box number two of 2020. We continue with artist, three-piece art, so on, so on. So celebrity autograph. This month we have Chester Rushing from Jeepers Creepers. Th there was a part three of Jeepers Creepers? I know I saw the first two. I know a part three came out of Jeepers Creepers. That's why I didn't know what this was from because I've never seen a Jeepers Creepers three. I didn't know it even existed. So this month we have Chester Rushing from Jeeper Creepers 3. Chester plays Buddy Hook. You may also notice him from Stranger Things. Look for metallic photos numbered out of 99 that will be leveled up. This one is not numbered out of 99. Then we have the fan art print. Um, you can have three different prints, an alien item, and then uh, you got a fan art pin. Look for the pins numbered out of 250, 99, and 50. And then you have Artist Select Card. The BAM Select Card continues this box to complete the set from last box. The theme is Battle. Make sure to look for the Variant Foil Card. Oh, yes, mine's actually shiny. So mine is the Variant Foil Card out of only 100. So since they made 2,000 of these art prints, that means they probably made around 2,000 of these cards. So the full art prints actually is pretty rare. So that's actually going to have some pretty good value onto the foil art print. So, um, thoughts on this month's box? Let's see. Um, art print, you know, it's cool. This foil card is probably my, actually my favorite thing from this box this time. 
So this autograph, I actually, I don't know really who this actor is and I didn't even know if the movie existed. So honestly, like I, it's probably worth about 20 bucks, I bet, ish. This car, since this is the rare one, this is probably actually worth 20, 30 bucks. That's not a joke. It's probably about 50 bucks, 60, 70. So I'd say this, this box with my level up is probably about 70 bucks. If you did not get the level up card, you probably got about 50 bucks of value or so. So it was still good value for return. Um, nothing really like super wow me in this box, but it was good value for the return on the money. And I'm actually excited to actually get the ultra rare foil variant of this. So that's actually pretty cool. So that's all I got for this month. And I'll see you next time with hopefully the BAM pop culture box. See you soon. I'm out.